Okay, this is a new version of Twitch VOD Downloader. Here is the main icon, should show up about here, but this is movable. So if you hover over it towards the edge, you can click that and move it anywhere you want, and that's where it will be the next time you open a page. Saves that to your local storage, this, the position of the icon. And from there, you can open this up. If you're on a live stream, you can use this to open up the live stream. From there, I've added chat back that was gone uh, for the past couple of weeks. It is now there. From there, you know, you can change your, your resolution source. Uh, and again, all of these menus are movable and most all of them are resizable as well. Here we have uh, custom controls on the playback. Uh, so I've had to do that to allow for cleaner live stream playback without interruption. But note that if you go into full screen mode while you are watching a live stream, it'll show 99 hours, which is not accurate. So just be aware of that. These controls basically obfuscate that. From there, you can click download. I have added back the slider that's been missing for the past couple of weeks as well. So you can use this slider. These inputs are editable. You can change them like so manually, or you can slide them like this. And from there you can download. Uh, another change is in the past week or so, it's been uh, required that you keep this tab open. It actually hasn't been required for multiple downloads, but I didn't make that distinction. But if you download as one file, you do need to keep this tab in view. I won't go into the details of why, but that's just the case right now. But if you don't want to do that, you can always download as multiple files and it will chunk them up into roughly one gigabyte files. Back over here on Twitch, if we go to our settings menu, you can toggle to light mode or dark mode. You can adjust the default seat se seek seconds. So if you want it to be 30 seconds, you can change that. And then when you go to uh, watch a VOD, you'll see that you know, your buttons to seek forward and backward are 30 seconds. If you use your arrow keys, you can go back and, back and forth five seconds at a time. And down here, it'll show the current version. And if you open that up, it'll go through the recent updates and it'll have a link to watch any demos that are associated with that that you can open up from there and from here you can also find the channel's recent streams you don't have to go to that specific VOD you can open it from here or if the individual has hidden VODs you can potentially find them that way or you can manually add them in here with the stream ID the name of the streamer and so forth. So using the manual inputs here, you could go to Twitch Tracker or Stream Charts or Solely Gnome. You could find your streamer. And from there, look at their streams and find your specific stream. This is the stream ID. So if you pull it out of there, and put it there, and then pull out the time. That doesn't include a time, so you need to go down here get the actual full date time. Uh, Twitch tracker doesn't include a year. I've accounted for that, but it's a good idea to go ahead and type it in, put the year in there if it's not in there. And then you've got the correct streamer name in there. And then click through to run it. It will go through and try to find that VOD. Doing it this way takes longer uh, because it has to go through and search a bunch of different variants of the server and all that. Um, whereas if you're searching it from the recent streams view, it will oftentimes know which server to target. Uh, I won't go into a detailed explanation of why, but there's some information I can gather if I have any streams to prioritize which server it's probably on. Whereas if you're using it this manual input way, it has to go check in all of the servers and kind of random which one it will will be uh, so, but yeah from there then you can again download all that you can copy the source link the m3 u8 link if you wanted to open it up in vlc or download it with on your system itself or you know if you had that m3 u8 link you can put it in here and view it this way as well and oh if you're using the view with m3 u8 source link the title is not going to be in here so be aware of that I'll be adding some more settings soon. Uh, one of them might be kind of some settings on where the chat logs are located or stuff like that. But now this is the current version and version 
3.17 will address a couple of user interface issues around streams with missing VOD segments and just notifying the user around that. And then I'll probably start working on the updated kick version that I'll be integrating into this. All right, that is it.